Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dulce. In today's video, I'm going to do two DIYs. A flower wreath for spring and summer. And these um, flower pots, I will show you how to decorate them and how to um, put these fake flowers in them. So you will need some fake flowers. This is the supplies that you will need. Um, two containers where you have these little round ones also you could use these ones you will need a hot glue gun hot glue some ribbon burlap if you want to decorate also the little pots some of this foam for the round ones these floral decorations some moss this one's some sea glass, also to decorate on the flower pots. I will show in some twine. So, if you want to keep watching, stay tuned for the next step. Okay, let's see if this actually works. This is my first time doing it, and I haven't done it off camera. So let's see if this DIY is a fail or it's a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, the first thing that I will do is these little round ones. I will put this um, wet foam in here. I will put some uh, hot glue in there too, just a little bit, just to um, for this thing not to move. When I want to move the flower pot. Okay, that's it. And I'll put it down in the middle. Like that, as you can see. Now I will choose the flowers that I want in here and I think I will get not these ones but I'll get some of these two. Let me take away the tags from the flowers also. I know everything is uh, not that organized, but like I say, this is something new that I'm doing. Hopefully, it does turn out okay and not too bad. Now that that's there, I will put some of the Spanish moss I got from Walmart. Excuse me. Try to put it like that. Oh my, this moss got everywhere on the table. That's okay because this is how DIYs are. Well, here's the little first part, as you can see. I will put some crystals in it also for decoration to look more prettier and have some color on it. Oh, let me see what else. Yeah. 
here you have it. Here's the first one. The first little pot. You could put it on your table, on the countertops of your kitchen, just to have um, some decoration. Here's the first one. Now I will do this one. Not sure how I'm gonna do it because I didn't bought um too much flowers. I think I will just do one of the round ones and one of this oval shape. So sorry. Also, I will put this foam there and put some hot glue so it will stay there and not move that much. I should have bought more of this. So, so. Now I will put in moss. Like I say, this moss is very messy. I'm going to try to pull this apart. You will want to leave this without the moss right now. So you could put the flowers in there. I will put these ones. Let me just take out the butterflies. I don't want the butterflies. Mm. Let me see how the butterfly looks with it. There's one. And here's the other one. And I will also put the lilacs. This one's okay. I took the butterflies out from the onion grass. This is how these two came out. I'm really liking it for spring and summer decorations and the little glass rocks are like a decoration for Give it more color, not only blue and white. Here are the two of them. Okay, I did this one off camera so you could see how the finished look will look. This is the big reef. You would just want to wrap around some glitter um, ribbon, the purple one, the yellow one. Um, take all this, the flowers out of the stems, cut these little parts so it could be flat, and just glue it on it, just half of it, so half will be flowers, half will be ribbon, and that's what I'm going to do with the little one also. This little one will go here, and on this side it will have flowers, and on this side it will have a ribbon, so... Let me, let me show you how to do it right now. Okay, for this one, I will also use the pink and yellow flowers. But instead of me put it on this left side, I will do it on the right side, the flowers. And on the left, I will put the ribbon. Like I said, you will have to cut this little part of the flowers. For every single one okay you will want to rearrange the flowers how you want it to look like just to see how you want them that's how I want mine and the ribbon will go on this side let me um, glue the flowers and I will be right back okay on the big one that I have already finished I decided to put the little butterflies from the onion flowers to give it a little bit more detail 
in here I am um, already I already put the flowers there in here I will put also these green little leaves that came from the flowers just to give a little green detail in there just like this now I will put the ribbon all over this I will choose now the pink one and the yellow one this is how it came out when I am all done wrapping the glitter ribbon and put the two, two little butterflies now that I have all this like that I will assemble it because these two I will put the twine I will take this game and save with the twine. The big one with the little one. Let me put this on the other side so I could not to tie We will cut the extra twine from it. If you want to, you could um, glue it together with the twine so it won't move. Just put the glue on the top and on the bottom so it won't move a lot. You will also want to um, put a little bit of twine on top of the bigger one so you could hang it on front of your door. This is how it came out. It is the final look. The big one I put on top one and the small one I put on the bottom. I'm really liking how it came out. It's very pretty. As you can see here, I just put it on the wall so you could see how everything came out. And I will put this in front of my door. Okay guys, this is how my project came out. I'm really liking these two little pots. 